Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. In this video, I'll show you how to create an engaging title for your charts in Excel. And because subtitles aren't officially supported, I'll also show you a neat trick to create one. Used correctly, a chart's title not only provides context, it can also act as a summary for those people who don't have the time or the desire to look at the detail. As always, if you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. In 2021, Excellent Ice Cream launched an employee recognition scheme called Go the Extra Mile. It's designed to recognise those who put in extra effort. The HR team who manage the scheme have produced a chart to show the number of awards that were given. It is, however, missing a meaningful title. Now, when you create a chart in Excel, you should get a title placeholder. And I want the text of the chart title to match what's in cell A1. Now, I have a couple of options here. I can either click on the chart title, delete out the placeholder text and just type my own text in. But if I want to pick up the text from A1 or any other cell for that matter, I need to click on the chart title placeholder, click in the formula bar, type an equal sign and then click on the cell that contains the text and press enter. And the great thing about this is that if I change the text in the cell, it automatically updates the text in the chart title. Once I have the title, I can format it in a number of ways. So for example, I can select the title and I can move the title and place it anywhere I want. If I want to change the font, I can do that to make sure the placeholder is selected and choose a font. I can change the size of the text. I can make it bold or italic. I can even change the color. So I could change the color of the background to a gold color and change the color of the text itself. Let's look at subtitles. Excel doesn't actually support subtitles on charts. However, by using a simple trick, I can add one. If I click on insert, go over to text and select text box, I can add a text box anywhere on my chart just by drawing it out. I can move it and resize it, which I'll do shortly. Again, I can type directly into the text box or I can pick the contents up from a cell, which is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to pick up the contents of A9. So with the text box selected, click in the formula bar, type in equals and click on A9 and press enter. And just like the main title, I can move the text box and place it anywhere. If I want to remove the outline from that text box, select it, click on shape format, shape outline, no outline. I can either leave the text box as it is, or I could change the background color like I did for the main title. Go up to shape format, shape fill, and choose a colour. And I can change the text colour just by going back to home and using the text colour button. Now in this example, I'm going to remove the title placeholder and use a text box instead. It offers more flexibility. So I'll click on the title placeholder and press the delete key and then insert a text box. Remember, I can move and resize the text box later. I want to connect the text box to A1. So with the text box selected, click in the formula bar, type an equal sign, click A1 and press enter. Now it appears that the text isn't there, but the text is there. It's white text on a white background. And that's because the text color initially is based on the color of the text in A1. So I will change the text color to a dark gray and I'll also change the background color to a gold. Now, one of the benefits that I've got with the text box over the built in placeholder is that you can resize it. So let's just resize it. You can see the text appearing. What I'll also do is I will align the text to the right and then resize it. So it automatically wraps the text around onto two lines and place it exactly where I want it. 
I could also change it from a standard rectangle to say a rounded rectangle. And to do that, select it, click on shape format, edit shape, change shape, and make it a rounded rectangle. Looks like I'll have to resize it again. But now we have a rounded rectangle as our title. If I want to add a subtitle, I can do that in exactly the same way as I showed you before. So there we have it. Hopefully I've given you a few ideas as to how you can use chart titles to improve the quality of your charts. Now, if you found this video useful, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe for more. If you've got any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips and tricks to help you become more productive in Excel. And you can sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.